Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Joe here again, and uh, today we're going to take a look at lovely Rita from uh, Sgt. Pepper's. Uh, quite an easy song to play and a fun song to play too. Uh, before we begin, I just wanted to say that uh, my last song, P.S. I Love You, I got a message from YouTube saying that uh, parts of the song are copyright, or this song is copyright, uh, and then two buttons asking me to either acknowledge or dismiss this claim. Uh, no idea, you know, what's going on here. I'm just worried that they're going to suspend my account or cut off my videos. Uh, I can't see why because I'm not really posting any ads and making money off this uh, these tutorials. So if you know anything about this, uh, if I should be worried or what I should do, you know, please uh, send me a message and uh, you know let me know what you think. Okay. So um, if you're going to play this song along with the uh, record, uh, you're going to have to tune your guitar down a semitone. Uh, but for right now, the guitar, uh, my guitar is in standard tuning, uh, so once you learn the song, then you can uh, you know, tune your guitar down and uh, play with the uh, record. Alright, let me run through it a little bit, and um, I'm not going to sing it as high as Paul, because it's pretty high, uh, so just bear with me, and I'll run through parts of the song, and uh, then we'll break it down. Uh, most of the song, just a few little things at the end. So uh, let's uh, break it down. Start off with the intro. We're doing a B, B bar chord up on the seventh fret, then an A, and then we're doing an E chord over here, just like this. Okay, just uh, on the fourth fret. I play it like this, and I'll show you why. And then back to the B. So. So it's basically a, like a D chord, you slide it up to the 5th fret. But I'm just going to bar the first three strings, put my 2nd uh, finger on the 5th fret of the B string, and my 3rd uh, finger over here on the 6th uh, fret of the D string. And the reason I do that is just it's easier to lift up this 2nd uh, finger. So. extra note there, and then back to the B. So. Okay, and then you're going to do the B again. And then A. And then go down to the bottom, do an E chord. That's the intro. Uh, let's look at uh, the chorus, uh, which is, which happens next. Lovely Rita, meet a maid. May nothing can come between us. Right. So we're starting with an E. Lovely Rita, then A. Uh, sorry. Lovely Rita, then D and A. Meet a maid, and then E again. Nothing can come between us. Now a B seven. Between us. Now you're going to do a C sharp minor. When it gets dark 
and then an F sharp major on the second fret. Do your heart, and then a B7 away. All right, so lovely Rita. C sharp minor, when it gets dark, F sharp, tow your heart away. Okay, one more time. Lovely Rita, meet a maid, nothing can come between us. When it gets dark, I tow your heart away. Okay, uh, and now the verses, starting on E. And then A, and then D, and then G, and then E, and then B7. All right, so stand by a parking meter when I caught a glimpse of Rita, filling in a ticket in a little white book. Again. In a cab, she looked much older, and a bag across her shoulder made her look a little like a military man. Now we're going to do a little link. So, E, C sharp, minor, F sharp major, and then B7. So, So let's try those, um, the two verses. Stand by a parking meter, when I got the glimpse of Rita, in the ticket in a little white book, in a cap she looked much older, in a panty bag across her shoulder, made her look a little like a military man. Okay, and then back into the uh, chorus. Lovely Rita, meet her maid, may I to the seventh fret and uh, do this kind of a uh, uh, little bit of play on the B. So we're going to start with a B major, then a B7. We're going to put the pinky on the tenth fret of the B string, and then move the pinky down to the ninth fret of the B string, and then lift up the pinky, so we have a B7. And then we're going to play a B7 sus. So now that pinky is on the uh, ninth fret of the uh, G string. And then uh, lift up the pinky and then put the th third finger, the uh, second finger down, the ring finger, or sorry, the middle finger on the eighth fret. So like that. And then so now you have a standard B7. So, one more time. <clears throat> Lovely Rita, meet a maid. May I inquire discreetly? When are you free to take some tea with me? Looks like that. And then a B7. B. Doesn't matter, they both sound very, very similar. So. Alright. And then uh, into the uh, uh, chorus, uh, and then the solo happens. So. Da -da 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 -da. To uh, the verses. Okay, so. Took her out and tried to win her. Had a laugh and over dinner. Told her I would really like to see her again. Got the bill, the reader paid it. Took her home and nearly made it. Sitting on the sofa with a sister or two. Uh, lovely Rita, meet her maid. Where would I be without you? Give us a week and make it. 
the 7th fret again. that kind of weird ending uh, where they kind of fade off and um, do some um, weird chanting. And uh, that's on A minor. Um, Paul's doing something on the piano, so I'm approximating what he's doing. It's an A minor. And you're going to be lifting up the first finger and then also putting down the pinky on the uh, third fret of the B string. So. exactly the same as the record and I'm not doing it exactly the same but it's similar to this and you can just fool around with it and uh, get a little bit spacey so okay and then when you start finishing that you're going to do an A minor sevens that really spacey part so and then you're going to do a minor 7 then you're going to jump up to the 5th fret and play a D style chord slide up to the 7th fret do the same thing and then you're going to play a minor style chord over here just like a D minor but you're going to be here starting on the sixth fret, on the eighth fret. So like a, you know, D minor down here. Slide it up until you're at the uh, eighth fret there, and then you're going to end on an A major. So. Okay, uh, that's it for today, so I uh, hope you enjoy that, and uh, we'll see you around next time. Okay, peace out everyone.